Like many Somalis her age, Fadumo spent her childhood running away from the country's civil war. I was born in Kenya and deported from this country in 1989 along with my family. <coughs> um, ended up in Somalia as a refugee when the war broke out. I left in 1990 with two of my younger siblings to go to Finland. It is well in Finland that she built her dream and harbored a desire to return home to war-torn Somalia. Fadumo is running to be her country's president. Hers is an uphill task, having to convince the population that she has what it takes to lift Somalia from years of conflict, starvation, youth unemployment and despair. That she is a woman is according to her an advantage and the reason voters should consider her. We've had situations whereby women have negotiated their existence. For example, can I be an MP, you know, really a lower level of um, or echelons of the, of the government and they haven't been taken very seriously. And when I'm asked why the presidency, my answer is always why not. We never ask that question of male politicians. Why should it only be asked of female politicians? We have every right to run for the highest office in the country like any other um, male candidate. Somalia has not held full elections since 1967. The current president, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, was elected in 2012, voted in by members of parliament only. The security situation then could not provide for nationwide polls. This year's elections may not be different. That may be an obstacle to a free and fair poll according to Fadumo, but nothing to stop her. In terms of leadership, I bring competency, I bring skills, I bring compassion, I bring servant leadership, I bring a new way of doing things, I bring a new dawn to Somalia, I bring hope to Somalia. The response in Somalia has been mixed. Fadumo has received death threats. She has also received backing of many young Somalis tired of clan politics. The mother of four currently pursuing her PhD hopes to inspire many more women in Africa to take up leadership positions. My message is really a pan-Africanist one. We want to formalize the role African women play in, in the continent, on the continent, and say that we will no longer negotiate our existence. We are here to take our rightful place. We will formalize this leadership and we will push the continent forward. Should she win, Fadumo says she will prioritize peace and reconciliation, security and economic development. Sarah Kemani, SBC News, Kenya.